Hello and welcome to Talk Chinese, where we teach you Chinese with ease. My name is Xiaolan, and I'm going to teach you a useful phrase of Chinese every day. In this episode, we are going to learn how to say "it's snowing." We have Josh from Transition. Hi, Josh. Hi, Xiaolan. 你好 Right, we are going to learn how to say "snow" and "snowing." We say 下雪下雪下雪下 it down. 下下 fourth tone. We make it really, really strong to say 下下下雪雪雪 That means snow. 雪 And 雪雪 It's the third tone. So we say 雪雪雪 We go down first and then up. So down. Snow. That means the snow is falling. It's snowing. 下雪下雪 Let's say that a couple of times. 下雪下雪下雪下雪 So 雪 It's the object. The snow. To describe big snow, we say 大雪大雪大雪大 is big. 雪 It's snow, big snow, heavy snow, and make sure you use the third tone for 雪 because if you say 大学 the second tone that means the university. Wow. 大学 is big, heavy snow. 大学大学 No, no, I heard university now. You heard university. Ah.、Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me test you. Okay. You have to guess. Am I saying university or big snow? Okay. Yep. 大学 Uh, university. 大学 second tone is university. 大学 Snowing. 大学大学 is heavy snow. 大学 Wow. For the normal listener, it sounds very similar. That's a, a tricky one to get. Yeah. 大学 is university. 大学 That means heavy snow. Okay. To say the very small snow, we say 小雪小雪小雪小雪小 That means small. 雪 It's the snow. Small snow. Yeah. 小雪 Makes good sense. Nice and logical again. Yep. So to say it's snowing heavily, we just to put all the three characters together. 下大雪 Yeah, the heavy snow is coming down. 下大雪 Hmm, makes sense. And that's something I remember when I was growing up in Bristol in the UK. We never wanted 小雪 We wanted the 大雪 because if it would 下大雪 it meant we could take a day off school. Right, we love that. Take a day off the school. Take a day off from work. Yeah. And when you snow in. Then、uh, you don't need to go to work or school. So to say it snows slightly, 下小雪下小雪下小雪 And I remember in Taiwan because it's the subtropical weather, we rarely have snow. Oh, we never have snow except for very high mountains. So a very famous mountain called He Huan Shan sometimes will have snow like once a year, and the snow is not even heavy. That would be like. Ten centimeters most, and you know what happened? Every time when there's a snow forecast, the whole media would go crazy, and the general public would go crazy. Why do they go crazy? They all go up to the mountains wanting to see the snow, and as a result, <laughs> there's a traffic jam everywhere、wow. near the mountain, and as a result, no one really saw anything. Wow! So they get stuck on the mountain road. <laughs> they got stuck on the mountain road without seeing the snow. Oh, and that's the. The media crazy and the general public crazy thing. And now I live in Europe and I I love skiing. To say skiing, we say 滑雪滑雪滑雪滑 means to slide down from the snow.、Ah. That's 滑雪滑雪滑雪 And to say snowman, we say 雪人雪人雪人雪人人 means person. So snow person. It's 雪人雪人 So that's a bit more equally balanced. It's not saying it's a man. So it could be a a snow man or a snow woman. That's right. Yeah. Snow person. Yeah, you say snow person. 
And in fact, you can see Chinese is quite a gender neutral language. Right. So today we learn how to say snow. Snow is 雪雪 To say it's snowing, we say 下雪下雪 To say it's snowing heavily, we say 下大雪下大雪 To say, oh oh, hold on. I heard you heard university. I have to go down the university. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. 下大雪下大雪雪 third tone. To say, ah,、uh, it's snowing slightly. We say 下小雪下小雪 To ski, we say 滑雪滑雪 To say snowman, snow person, we say. 雪人，雪人，雪人，雪人。Great, thank you, Josh, and thank you for listening to Talk Chinese, where we teach you a useful phrase of Chinese every day. Today, we learn how to say everything about snow. Yeah, so many words, but all to do with snow. That's really nice. Yeah, it's all related, and it's so easy. And we just keep repeating, mix and match different words. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to rate us, review us, and share what you've learned. Until next time, 再见再见 